Our next guest is a very funny actor and comedian you know from his work on Saturday Night Live. He stars in Mr. Mayor, which airs Tuesday nights at 8.30 here on NBC. Let's take a look. Sir, I need your advice. My friend works at the discotheque, but he just got invited to play at the Olympics. But the owner of the discotheque is his husband, and he's going to be so mad. Jane, and... Jane, I'm on live TV right now. Right now. Oh, oh did I say f No, no. I'm sorry, I'm get, sorry. Get no. You're I'm sorry. No, get out. Oh, boy. <laughs> Where was I? Um, I don't recall. And neither should you, Los Angeles. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend, Bobby Morton! <laughs> welcome back, my friend. Hello, it's so good to see you. It's so nice to have you back in New York City for a few days. Yeah, How are you enjoying? Wonderful. Are you enjoying being back out here on the East Coast? It's weird to be back. I haven't been back in like two years. That's nuts. Very different. Yeah. Yeah. A lot's different. You've got a, a, a your daughter is four. Uh, is she? Yeah. We did some, check we checked out. Wikipedia. Yeah. I gotta check in with her. Yeah. 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 I hope she's doing well. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> yeah, no, she's four. She's the best. What's We're she into? Everything that I am. All right. I mean, you have. I will say this. Uh, you say this lovingly. I feel like you have a lot of taste. You were just waiting for a child to uh, share with you. Co correct. I, I realize uh, what I'm best at is playing with yeah. toys. Yeah. A lot of trolls right now. A lot of. She like like had a little spooky phase. Okay. A lot of monsters like Dracula. Oh, that's fun to be inside of that. <laughs> yeah. What every little girl loves, mummies. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, she's uh, the best. She's that's amazing. really exciting. Yeah. Um, uh, we and the birthday's coming up, right? Yes. Did she want Once like? A year. Uh, oh, is that what they're yeah. doing now? Oh, yeah, kids. Yeah. Um, does she like have any theme requests for her birthday, or is? Um, every year she asks for a, a theme request, and every year it ends up being Toy Story somehow. Okay, gotcha. Why or how? But it does. Maybe because we don't buy new decorations. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, yeah, I think this year it's probably going, right now, very heavy into Sonic. Sonic oh, okay. and Knuckles. All right. Right now. But oh, it'll that's change. Exciting. Yeah, it'll change in like 14 hours. You uh, you have a fantastic cast. We saw Ted Danson in the clip, Holly Hunter as well, a couple of legends. Yes, yeah. Um, how, what do they like to work with? Um, the best. Yeah. Uh, I've learned so much about acting from watching Holly Hunter for 40 seconds. And from Ted Danson, I learned that you should have turkey and apples like every hour. Really? Yeah. Because he and looks outstanding. And it's the best thing I've ever learned. Yeah, he, he's he a, looks really good. Yeah, he's a really healthy man. Yeah. And it's just turkey and apples on the hour? It's just seven feet filled with turkey and apples. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you got to eat a lot of turkey. Yeah, you got to. You, you don't want to go higher than the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll come out the top. You do. Uh, I know you're doing a lot of uh, VO stuff. And during the pandemic, yeah, yeah. Uh, people who are smart built uh, sort of makeshift home studios. Did you do that? Uh, yes, almost instantly. Uh, okay. Yeah. The first VO job I got, I said, can I keep this? Can I pay you to keep all of this stuff? Because they sent you the gear. Because they yeah. sent like a, a, a setup and they said yes. And I did. And I haven't, I've been in my closet for two years doing voices. That's great. Like every other 45 year old man. <laughs> You come out to play trolls, and then you go I back. Play, and... and then I go play in the club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have a show. Uh, you're doing a voice on Lightning Wolves. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, explain Lightning Wolves real quick. Uh, Lightning Wolves is a, a cartoon, a bunch of shorts that I wrote. Uh, it's based on, loosely based on those car like '80s cartoons, Thundercats, He-Man, Voltron, GI Joe. And, uh, but this version is, uh, you know, it was all about teaching uh, people life lessons or teaching children life lessons. And, uh, but, uh, but it was really just there to sell them toys. Yeah. Uh, and that's what this is. It's just <laughs> a, bunch of, a bunch of 80s characters realizing that they mean nothing and they're just toys. <laughs> <laughs> you also, uh, welcome to the uh, children's book author game. Yes, congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it's fun to write a kid's book. I just read your children's book to my daughter and her whole class. How'd it go? Not great. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> they didn't get it. They were sad oh, after no. I read it. That were, it. That's not good. Two of the kids said, I don't want to do school anymore. What? It made them stop wanting. Yeah. One be... said, what's a bear? What's a bear? Well, that, that kid, they that, should probably go back that, to school. That kid's not great. They should probably um, do double school. <laughs> no, it went great. I did your voice. No, oh, no. <laughs> Uh, it was it was great. It was fun. It's so crazy. You, and, and uh, I, you will read my book to uh, my daughter's class soon. Yes. What are, uh, and your book is called? Uh, Not All Sheep Are Boring. That's great. 
Is that the take that a lot of kids think uh, sheep are boring? Uh, yeah, it's about a little toad who says, you know, people count sheep to fall asleep, ah. but not all sheep are boring. I can prove it. And by the end, you realize he's wrong. All sheep are boring. <laughs> And then, uh, and then the butcher comes. And then, and the, yeah, <laughs> it's kids need to learn. <laughs> hey, um, so you, uh, you got uh, again. Uh, I have known you uh, to do animated voices uh, for a long time. You did one in our, our show, The Awesome. In The Awesome, was teleportation, but, um, Larry. Yeah, tell a very famous, a very important. <laughs> Character to the canon. Uh, you also uh, played uh, a ba uh, the, the penguin in Batman: The Audio yeah. Adventures. Um, yeah, our I, friend I did Dennis a little, McNicholas. Yeah, I did a little uh, voice work in this as well. The penguin, though, I couldn't help but notice, does feel to like sort of complete the circle, because uh, you played Danny DeVito on the show a couple times. Correct. Yes, I was. I was lucky enough when they let me to play Danny DeVito. It was, Here, it was uh, here's so much you fun. and Taryn as yeah. uh, George Clooney. Oh, and Danny my DeVito. Taryn. <laughs> yeah. Did were you? Wait, are you pointing because you were worried they I wouldn't... just like tickling this oh, yeah. little guy. I thought you were like, that, now this one's me. <laughs> no, I just saw it and went, he's adorable. You Look also, at that. Uh, this was Star Wars auditions, and this was <laughs> Danny DeVito auditioning to play BB-8. Yeah, that was all Colin Jost. Colin Jost was like, would you mind dressing up as Danny DeVito and just rolling around? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I go, should I say anything? And he goes, when you're done, just go, right? <laughs> Perfect. That was all Jost. Um, and so then you, uh, you were lucky enough to meet uh, the, the legend. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Danny DeVito. yeah. Uh, right after I played him on the show, I don't remember if it was the Star Wars one or the Nespresso one, but that night, like directly after the show, I had two of my buddies, uh, Mike and Rob from high school, like with me. Like I had two buddies from high school with yeah. me. You, you want to look cool. And we're, I get them to the party and we pull up to the party and it's the coolest and you're on SNL and your buddies from high school are there. And I walk past a car and I get like yanked. Like, <laughs> And I'm like, I'm being assaulted. And it's Danny DeVito. He's like, you think it's funny bringing me in? And, and the immediately let go was like, I love you, kid. And I was like, well, that was the greatest. Mo I just got a, a, attacked by Danny DeVito yeah. in front of my high school buddies. Yeah, I mean, that's really the dream. I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, so I was recently, um, I was a guest on, uh, on, on The Tonight Show uh, with Jimmy Fallon recently. And we were talking about uh, bombing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, especially, uh, specifically bombing at charity gigs. Yes. And I was talking, and I think you know where I'm going. Yeah. You and I. Oh, no, I saw this. Yeah. yeah. You and I together bombed worse than I've ever bombed in my life. It was the worst. Yeah. It was the absolute worst. It was worst. at Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden, the 12, 12, 12 Sandy concert, benefit Hurricane concert. For, uh, yeah. It had been going on for hours. It was, it was an incredible uh, list of bands and, and musicians. Like a seven hour concert, yep. I think. And we went on like hour five and a half, yep. uh, five, six. Yep. Uh, you recounted it wrong. We went on after Kanye West. Okay. Who was in a kilt and screaming. Yeah. And then threw his mic into the audience and then when and then Chris Rock went, are you going out there? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. He's like, in that costume? <laughs> now, we should know that Bobby and I, uh, what we were did at uh, the Hurricane, a concert for Hurricane Sandy, which was all music, yep. Arcade Fire, The Who, Kanye. Um, we went Kanye. in between Kanye West and Billy Joel. Yeah. So imagine you've, New you've, just seen, <laughs> you've just seen Kanye West. You see them roll out Billy Joel's piano. Before yes. that. But before that. I walk out as me. <laughs> And he walks out as drunk uncle. Yeah, in costume, which by the way, they made me wear to Madison Square Garden. I said, can yeah. I get dressed when I get there? They said, there's yeah. nowhere to dress. I said, inside that tiny building? <laughs> so I showed up in costume yeah. and, and sat was... in a room with the Rolling Stones in a wig. <laughs> and I, because the thing Chris Rock said that I remember is he goes, you're gonna go do sketches? Because he knew. He said, are you in a costume? I was like, come I'm not that. Terrible, please. Yeah. <laughs> and we went out there, and the second we got there, everyone got up to get a beer. <laughs> yeah. It and was amazing, because I do feel like we were doing Drunk Uncle for maybe the biggest collection of Drunk Uncles Cor correct. that had ever been. Yeah. It, it was not. Do you know what happened after that? No, what happened after that? I left. OK. <laughs> you just went home. I. I walked out and I didn't go to the green room. I walked through Madison Square Garden. I went down like, you know, the regular way. Yeah. Through the begin like through the, the beginning, you know, the opening, <laughs> the beginning of a building. Have you ever been to the beginning of Madison Square Garden? <laughs> I got almost to the end. 
Um, <laughs> uh, and I walked out the front doors of Madison Square Garden and I walked home 13 blocks dressed as Drunk Uncle. Yeah. And uh, the other thing. And they called me and they said, Your car's here. And I said, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> I. We'll say this as well. I feel like I've done a lot of, uh, like, comedy charity events. Always is like a lower, like, it's gonna go worse than comedy for people who paid to see comedy. <laughs> Always. But when you walk off, more often than not, people are like, that was great. Like, the people backstage are like, we're here for a good cause. Like, the sea parted for you and I. No I walked... one made eye contact. It was just like, no the... handler came near me. No, nobody. I walked home alone. <laughs> yeah. People, like, would see us and just with their beers would be like, mm. Uh, I believe it was Katie Holmes. Katie Holmes went, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is then afterwards, do you remember, this was a really cool thing. They, because uh, all the money was going to Hurricane Sandy, but then they, half of it they gave to us. Yes. Because of how, yeah. they were like, we want to raise money. They're they like, felt, that was a disaster, Hurricane felt, Sandy, but felt, not. This is a Hurricane Sandy this suit. This is a hurricane. Oh, yeah, that this was This is a Hurricane suit. Sandy <laughs> suit. They gave me that. <laughs> Well, it, it was an terrible. honor. It was an honor to bomb with you that night. If that you're moment. gonna bomb with Seth Meyers, do it at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, that's it. We played. Uh, we played Madison Square. Garden. We didn't do anything worse than the Knicks do on almost. <laughs> Bobby Moynihan, everybody. Mr. Mayor. It's Tuesday at 8:30 p.m. here on NBC.